Hello there. Good to see you. Hope this has been a good week for you. Um, I don't think I should be quite as happy about this as I am. But I am. Um, because when packages come through the uh, letterbox, it's still... Uh, I'm obviously still enough of a child to get a bit excited. And when I find out what was actually in this particular package, uh, well, this is them. They've arrived. They have finally arrived. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, let's just say they took their time to get here. I have my PPE. Sounds like some sort of financial thing. But no, as you can see, the masks have arrived. Uh, ironically, they did come from China, which adds a certain, uh, well, definitely a certain irony. <coughs> if you had told me eight weeks ago, you are going to be so ecstatic over this minuscule thing. Um, I would not have believed you, but the fact is, uh, I was really chuffed to get these particular masks. The thing is, it's kind of, um, they're obviously a big deal now, but they were, until, you know, comparatively recently, no big deal, as in, it was just some masks. And it, what it put me in mind of was a passage, um, this is uh, Matthew 25. <coughs> I could give you more details, but I'm sure you'll catch on. He, he who received five talents came forward and bringing the five talents, saying, Master, you delivered me five talents and I have made you five more. Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter the joy of your master. And he also, who had two talents, came forward saying, Master, you delivered to me two talents. I have made two more. Again, his master said to him, <coughs> Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will now put you over much. There was a time when this was very little. I guess I've actually got both in the one thing. Two months ago, this was not much. And now, it's this big, huge, major deal. What is it which you have to look at differently because your perspective has changed over the last eight weeks because lockdown has changed what's important and what's not important. It's changed what you value and what you don't value. Scripture's actually quite serious. Life is presented as a, as a kind of apprenticeship. Walking with God means <coughs> doing various things which mean if you kind of get good at it and you pass the test, you move on. And if you don't, then you don't. What's the stuff that's been small fry for quite some time, but you've got it right and God is moving you on? What's the stuff that's still in your life that's actually not that significant, but you're still managing to not get it correct? Scripture specifically says, do not despise the things of <coughs> the little. Don't despise the, the, the day of small things. What is it that your perspective has to change on? Get right and move on. I wouldn't have thought it would be these, but they're a big deal now. I hope whatever it is this weekend that you can uh, you can look upon as this is something that I need to get right, and having got it right, I can then move on. 
Because the parable about the talents, while it focuses on the last one who took the talent away and buried it, it specifically makes clear if you work with what you've got and do the best with what you've got, God will move on. God will move you into the next thing. There's lots of stuff at the moment where we're on reduced amounts, where things are <coughs> being dealt with in a more frugal fashion, and we don't have a lot to work with. But working with what you do have, I think that's important. I think God wants us to do it well. I think God wants us to make use of what we do have, even if it's not much. Whatever it is, do it as unto the Lord to use a vernacular of a previous generation. And when we do it, God's really clear in that passage what he's going to say to us. Well done, good and faithful servant. Right now, no one's going to see, no one's going to know. We're all indoors. Everything's kind of closed off and we're just getting on with what we're going on with. We're not dealing with the big stuff. But maybe that's the whole point. Maybe we need to get better with the small stuff, the insignificant stuff. Because who knows when that insignificant stuff might become a whole lot more significant than we thought. Go with God, even on Saturdays, because I know God goes with you. Bye.